time to get registered is right now. Come get registered to vote. Come get registered to vote. Voter registration. So my first name is CJ, C period, J period, last name is Neal, N-E-A-L. And your title? Uh, so I'm the organizer, or one of the organizers. Uh, CJ, what are we doing here today? Okay, so today's march is, the title of it is Unity Over Violence, it's a prayer march in City Hall. The purpose for this is to have people of faith come together to voice in one accord that they're ready for change. The things that happened to George Floyd, to Ahmad, to Terrence Crutcher here, to all of those that have been the hapless victims of the misuse of force here in the United States, and to those that are being oppressed, really, because of a system that allows these things to happen too many times. We want to come together to say that we, as, as ministers, as believers, want to say that our voice we're going to use that to try to affect change. And so part of the reason why we're here today is because this is the Bible Belt, right? Everyone talks about how Oklahoma is a part of the Bible Belt. Well, in that Bible, in that book, it talks about loving your neighbor as yourself. That doesn't just extend to citizens. That extends to each and every individual that is here in the United States, whether you be law enforcement, whether you be members of political parties, whether you just be a citizen in general, everyone must practice that. And when we don't practice that, when we allow things like what happened there to continue, what we're basically doing is saying that we see what's being done, but we're being silent about it. And no change can ever be brought about unless someone voices that enough is enough, and it's time for that. Hope that no. wasn't too long. But. No, no, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, we want to thank everyone for coming out today, and we are especially pleased to see so many different people from so many uh, uh, religions and, and faiths and, and, and different organizations that have come together today for this unity over violence prayer march. Now, I know that some people have asked me about the title of that, and I want to explain that. What we are saying is, is that we are standing up together, the ministers that are here, the people of faith that are here, to say in one voice that we want change. Absolutely. And that the only way that that change is going to happen is when people who are actually committed to doing what it needs to be done to make sure that that change isn't just something that happens each time one of these incidents takes place, and then we forget about it. We want to make sure that each and every day that we remember that it is our duty, not just as citizens, but it's our moral obligation to make sure That's that right. each and every individual that lives in these United States has the right to live without fear of dying. 